Let's face it guys, there are countless guitar exercises that we can practice to develop our technique. Some of these exercises have been around for years and they are indeed the must practice exercises that we see all around the web. Just think about the spider exercise and all its variations. Now, they are indeed effective, they can develop multiple aspects of your playing, however, I do feel they kind of fall down the drain quite quickly as they are not that inspiring, they're a little dull, monotonous, and they're not that fun to play. So what is the good stuff then? Well, sometimes we have to get a little creative. For example, one of the main benefits of the spider exercise is to build the coordination between your fretting hand and your plucking hand. Of course, while using all the fingers. So we're using finger one, two, three, and four in a different combinations as well. And the point is, how do we make this exercise more melodic? Let's try this. So this one feels quite like the spider exercise. Of course, it sounds completely different. We are literally playing a melody in octaves. So we are indeed building the coordination between the left hand and right hand while using all four fingers. So it's a pretty interesting exercise. Of course, we start with a scale, then we build a melody, and then we add the octave to each one of these notes. Let's just take it step by step though. Now the first thing we want to understand the scale, we are in the key of A minor, so learn the A minor scale. We have the note A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. That's very simple, right? Now we're also going to add the octave to each one of these notes. So we're going to have A and A, and make sure that you use D finger three on the G string for number two. A and A, B and B, C and C, D and D, E and E, F and F, G and G, and A and A. So we are moving the same position all the way up to the fret number seven. Now, of course, I'm plucking with thumb index, thumb middle. So I'm always alternating with index and middle. Now, of course, you can also alternate between thumb and index. So instead of plucking the strings simultaneously, you can do thumb index, thumb middle. Now this is a great exercise, but it's not that melodic yet. So now we're going to use the same scale to create a melody. It sounds like this. So I'm playing A, B, C, D, E, F, E, C, D, B, C, A, B, E, and low E. Now, one thing really important about this, make sure that you memorize and interiorize this melody because it's going to be really helpful when we add the octave. So start with this simple exercise and then move on to the next step when you feel ready. Now let's add the octave to each one of these notes. It's really important that we understand how to organize the left end because we want to try to move as less as possible. At the same time, we're also going to use all four fingers. And the first one is, of course, A and A. And I'm going to start with the um, f finger number three. Then I have B and B. Now, the second finger is 
ready to go on the uh, fifth string. And then we have C and C, so I have the third and the first finger ready to go. So it's kind of a pretty smart way to finger this melody. Now we have D and D. And I'm going to use the pinky here. So we already used all the fingers. Now E and E, F and F, E and E. Now we'll go back to the C, D, B, C, A, that this time we play with the finger two, B, E, and the low E. Now I'm going to play the whole thing one more time, just focus on the right hand. I'm always alternating, plucking simultaneously with thumb and index and then thumb and middle. So, Alright guys, so let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of awesome classes. Now I've been using Skillshare for a while and you guys know that. And the reason why I love it is because it has so many different classes in just one place. For me, lifestyle and productivity is absolutely essential, but also marketing, photography, film and video. You know, I record YouTube videos, I record tutorials all the time. And so I wanna keep up and keep learning. It's awesome to have all these classes in just one place. Now lately I've been trying to get better at taking photos and I've been checking this awesome course called Instagram Worthy Photography by Brandon Wolfell. You can learn something real quick and put it into practice. Now the cool thing is that Skillshare is free for a limited period of time. The first thousand people who click the link down below will get a full month, one month of Skillshare Premium for free. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So make sure that you always organize the left hand correctly. For example, we could have started with the finger two, A and A, then play B with the finger one. But then when we have to play the C, we would have jumped from uh, fret two to fret one. It's kind of a big jump. And that's the reason why we start with the finger number three. Now once you have that, you can break the finger picking pattern and you can alternate between thumb index, thumb middle. a slight variation at the end of the um, exercise. It's all the same. And then after the A, we just play the E and E on the fret 2, the low E string and the E on the 4th string. So it's still the same octave. And we finish with the A. Now, of course, once you have this pattern, you can then decide to change the right hand. For example, we could have this triplet finger picking pattern with thumb, middle, and index. So I have the uh, note played with the thumb just one time, and then the octave is played with the middle and index. So we have three notes. Put it together with the other, um, with the rest of the melody. I 
I hope you enjoyed this exercise, guys. Let me know if you like it, and I'll talk to you next time.